Good afternoon, everybody. So we're here with another round of Let's Build. But today, we're going to do more classic type Lego stuff. Now, I use the word classic loosely. Most of you might be thinking classic as in what we used to do back in the 80s. And it would be not with this licensed stuff. But for me, it's not Lego Mario, so it is classic. Um, this is the new Wolverine mech armor, guys. I really wanted to get this. And the thing is, is that um, I did buy one. Uh, I think my friend Big Jeff from uh, Jeffrey's Gaming Channel, he's, I think, also got this. I would put money on it. Um, the thing is, is that I usually don't buy these, but this one I liked a lot. And so the thing is, is that I did get this one, and I am going to build it today. So um, this is a slightly larger set than I'm used to. 141 pieces is bigger than I've done with a lot of the ones that are only like in the 40s or much less than that and because of that we are going to do this in only 30 frames per second today it's not going to be as clear but it should still be visible because i don't know how large the file will be once we're done now i'm going to use this as a basis guys for doing other lego builds bigger lego builds and if this one doesn't look like it takes too long and it's not a huge file that would take up a lot of space on my memory on my phone, then we might do the next couple in 60 frames per second if we do some larger builds. When we're doing the small, tiny little Lego Mario ones, I don't worry about it. But these bigger ones, mm, that's a different story. So let's get it all set up, everybody. And uh, we're going to get you guys set up so you can see. I'm going to do things a little differently in the hopes that it'll be a lot more visible for you guys. We do have the light on. We do have the light behind us. But we are getting ready to get into crappy, crappy weather. Just supremely crappy weather. And so the thing is, is that because of it, um, I didn't think we'd have enough light. So I made sure to give us a little extra light off the camera. Even though it kind of means I'm almost staring into it right now. And that's not fun. All right, so there's got to be a seal here somewhere. Um, okay, it looks like it's got to be one of those. All right, is there an actual thing that says, yes, there is, never mind. There's one on the bottom right here that barely helps me at all. Okay, so we're going to do it by the top like I was doing it. As long as it's something enough, guys, that I can get it open... And, and you know me, guys, I like to keep the box. I don't care. As long as I can keep the box and I can get it open, it doesn't matter. Right. Let's get this bugger out. Unlike my friend Big Jeff, he likes to uh, do all his stuff off screen. And then um, make sure that you guys see the final product. I like to chit chat with you guys and do stuff. I hope that's something you guys like too. If anybody ever would prefer it to be something other than that, you let me know in the comment sections. I'll be more than happy um, to do videos similar to the way my big my friend Big Jeff does it. Now we could put the uh, Wolverine together, but the problem is is that all his pieces are mixed in all the bags. So it's like I uh, might not be able to find him right away, and I don't want to take a lot of time. So I like to see if we can find the pieces for him as we go. Like, for example, guys, we have his head right here. I hope you guys can see everything okay. My apologies, guys. I'm going to take a look in a minute, but I don't know about close-up stuff like this head. I don't know how you guys might be doing with looking at that when it comes to what's on screen, but... Um... I did want to make sure you guys could see me building the figure and that you guys could see the final product, of course. So. Now I think we have a few more of the, here's Wolverine's mask right here guys hopefully you guys can see that okay there's his torso um and i think we have his legs is that all we need to make his yes that is all we need to make a wolverine minifigure okay but yeah we were, we were supposed to get essentially what was going to be an ice storm in guys 
tonight, but, um, uh, well, excuse me, today, as a whole today. I don't know why they've got one that makes him look like he's got blank eyes. Okay, so no thanks. I'm guessing they're supposed to be like a pair of goggles he has on because he's, you know, driving his mech suit. And I, I prefer the one that looks like the regular one. No, because his mask is going to be on. You're not going to be able to see anything anyway. And there we go, guys. One mask. We're going to set our little figure right up here. And then I'm going to take a look and see how things are looking before we really get rocking and rolling. Oh, yeah. I think we'll be doing good, guys. I really hope that you guys will enjoy the way it looks when all is said and done. Um, so there we go, guys. We got a nice start to everything. We'll put our Wolverine aside, and there we go. But, yeah, we were supposed to get a really, really kind of crappy storm in today. And instead, what happened was is that it decided to go on the back burner. And because of that, we did kind of luck out, but at the same time, see, I ask people questions, guys, and they wait to get back to me after I stop my, my videos. No, I'm, oh, uh, nope, I thought it was, I thought it was our friend, Miss Debbie, but um, I had to get, get a message for somebody at work, guys. They found something that was missing outside at work. And the thing is, is that um, it had been missing all winter. And what happened was we found out it had got left outside. And then um, it got pushed into a snow banking. Well, just today, they actually found the crazy thing in uh, on the ground after the snow had finally melted. So, so I'm talking to the guy from work about all that. I, I'm doing pretty good, guys, noting my colors here. What's blue and what's not. But they have some very dark colors that they decided to use for this set. And the thing is, is that sometimes makes it difficult to tell what's a blue and what's a black. And da, 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 da. But I'm doing okay so far. I hope. So, guys, I ask this a lot. And nobody ever answers me. So, don't worry if it, nothing changes in this. But... How is everybody out there doing? Is everybody doing good? Uh, I want to thank everybody. Um, I don't recall, but I can check real quick. Uh, last I knew, my friend Jeff was up to 144 subscribers. Uh, wait, maybe that was wrong. I thought it was 144. Um, I'm checking on his site right now, guys. I actually meant to check today. 144 subscribers for my good friend, Mr. Jeff. And uh, for Jeff and Debbie, since technically they're sharing their account now. And for me, guys, we are up to 162, which I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for joining me on the channel. I don't beg for subscriptions, but I do appreciate them when they come. So I, I really appreciate all you guys. Um, the thing is, is that um, we do the stuff on this channel because you guys want to come and see us. And the thing is, is that that's the way it is, and that's the way it goes. And I'm a happy person all around, guys. Um, generally speaking, when it comes to work and stuff, not so, such a happy person. But, oh, hey, guys, we found Wolverine's claws. We want to make sure we, uh, we we do that real quick. Let's, let's get his little claws out. Because the claws go right in here. It's interesting with Lego characters. You'd think what they would do is they would make it so that you could take the hands off right here. And then you could just put the claws around the back of the hand and snap it back on. But instead what they do is they make them hold them like they're weapons. And it's like, well, I guess they are weapons. And if you're looking for the right angle, it does look like they're popping out of his hands like they're supposed to. But it's a it's a tough call. And if I put if I put it down right, guys, it almost looks like they are popping out of his hands. Don't it? It's really awesome. So there we go. We found his claws. I didn't realize right up first, but we... We were missing those. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing good out there, guys. Um, I really do enjoy having all the subscribers that we have um, because I didn't beg for them. I didn't plead that you guys... And I still want to do... Um, uh, I still want to do a mock video, but I, I really think I'm going to get my friend um, Big Jeff involved in it. And I, I, or, I don't know. I want to do one that involves my friend Jeff, but at the same time... Um, 
is uh, something on my own. But, uh, oh yeah, I got a, I got a mock video thing I want to do. because, And I call it a mock video because I'm going to mock the spit out of people that beg for subscriptions, guys. And there's so many people out there. There really is. Um, there are so many people out there that, like, their life is dependent on if you are subscribing to their channel. Uh, now, I'm not knocking anybody that's a subscriber here that has their own channel and is begging for subscriptions. You're not necessarily the kind of person I'm referring to. The one that I'm really referring to is the people that have these big channels already and are basically just like, I need more, more, more. Because the thing is, is that they believe that any, uh, well, I'm speculating here because I don't know these people, but it looks to me as if they believe that their their whole um, way of living is is tantamount to people being subscribed to their their channel. That if you weren't subscribed, all life on Earth, in their reality, all life on Earth in their reality would come to a screeching halt. And we would all die a horrible, suffering death. Because that's what they make it sound like. They, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. It's like, they, like, I mean, I'm sorry, but some people, and my friend, uh, my friend Big Jeff, he actually made a video. And I know, I think it came up recently on, um, I think his Facebook page, where he actually was, where he actually re-showed it. But, um... Okay, Bart, bear with me for a second, guys. I got to look at this one. Oh, you're not going to show me the bottom, are you? You suck. Because that's important. Okay, is it the last one? Because all we have right now, guys, is these ones right here that have a smooth bottom on here, but a Lego piece here. And that looks like all we have. Um, and that's all I'm seeing. I don't see anything else that's square like that now what we're going to do is we're going to put his claws off to the side because all they're going to do is just be in the way we can put his one of his big body parts there off to the side it's kind of like a puzzle guys legos are so tantamount to puzzles that you really don't have to have oh they gave us an extra claw what do you know um you really don't have to um have everything out in front of you you can put aside what you know you're going to need for later yeah, they should have showed us the bottom of that one, but I'm going to bet my money that I'm right. Yeah, we'll get that in a second, guys. But yeah, I'm sorry, but people that beg for subscriptions, like almost down on their knees, that they, it has to be part of every single video that they have where it's like, I need your subscription. Life is over if I don't have your subscription. And it's like, okay, crazy person. It's like, no. Though some people, if your content is good, yeah, I'm going to subscribe. Your content's good enough. Why not? And that's what it should be based on. It shouldn't be based on me pleading with you or hitting you up so constantly. And that's, I think, what gets me, guys. And it's a personal note. It's not meant to be a bash on every single person that does it or anything. I'm just noting personal um, preferences. And that is, is that... I'm sorry, but I don't really find that when you put it in every single video. And there are people, guys, and I won't say who they are, but I know of a few right off the top of my head that I can think of that um, they put at the end of their videos like five minutes. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Almost five minutes worth of go to my locals, go to my Discord, go to subscribe, like, uh, here's some special announcement I have. Here's an ad thing because I don't think I have enough revenue coming in anymore. Da, 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 da. And it's like, kill me now. It's like, kill me now so bad. Because the thing is, is that I can't take it. I just cannot take it. it looks like it's cockpit, guys. The little, the little seat he's going to sit in. We're doing pretty good, guys. The problem is getting the instruction manual to stay open enough so that I can uh, you get, hold it with one hand, do this, you know, do that. 
this is why, guys, I was very careful at what I put the uh, video at for, like, its frames per second and stuff. Because if it was going to be a big video, this could take a while. Okay. Just because I'm not adept at it. Okay, so right here. And right here. Whoops. Okay, there we go, guys. It's more of his cockpit. We're on page 15, guys, of the instruction manual. We're plugging along pretty good, I think. I think. I'm not positive, but I, I think. I think, therefore, I am. Um, so, next to the weather being junk, guys, tonight, it's looking pretty likely it's going to flush down to us from Canada, and we are going to get bashed on, unfortunately. Uh, besides that, there hasn't been much else going on, except that it has been a little warmer this afternoon. Um, I'm very happy about that. I think right before we started this video was the first time I'd actually heard the, uh, Heat, come on, guys, possibly for the entire day. So I'm very pleased with that. Praise the Lord, guys. I want to tell everybody, part of the way through this video, I really thank God, everybody. He's been, uh, I want to say a miracle worker, but that's what, you know, that's one of the key things about Jesus is he did miracles. So I, a miracle worker, I guess, is very appropriate in my life. He's been a big help, and I really hope to do something, um, even if it's just to not, think about a crazy Easter bunny type thing. I really hope to honor the Lord um, when Easter comes up on Sunday, guys. I don't know about the rest of you. You all believe. I, I have people watching this from other countries. So, hey, you believe in what you believe in. That's great. Um, more power to you. It's just this is the way I'm going to spend my, my time is that I'm going to do it with um, um, listening to a good Bible program that morning, maybe having a good breakfast and actually honoring the Lord that way. Um, because it's what we call also Resurrection Sunday. Now, we're currently uh, getting closer and closer to, I think this Friday has a particular meaning, um, uh, possibly in the Jewish calendar and to a lot of Christians. Um, I think it might be different for what the Jewish people um, end up celebrating. I think, I don't know if this is Good Friday for them or something, but... Um, I know that this is very particular for Christians because this is the Friday to which they put the Christ to death. And then it's going to be Sunday when he rose from his his tomb. And now the thing is, is that, um, and this is going to be the front chest piece, guys. I'm almost positive. Um, the thing is, is that um, as far as uh, Friday through Sunday, guys, it was that they crucified him on Friday and then... It was technically three days later, and then he rose from the grave three days after, which just happened to fall on Sunday, and most of your Easter's are on Sunday. Now, here's the thing, though. Easter, and I'm sure you guys notice a lot, changes a lot every single year. It changes in phase with the moon. I don't know why. I could look it up. It just never really interested me to look it up and find out why, but it does. So we sometimes have Easter's sooner um, in the year like around March and stuff, and sometimes we have them late April. This time, we're basically in the middle. We're actually having something that's more in the middle, where we're going to have it um, early on in April, so April 9th, this coming Sunday, and I will be off for a few days. Whoop, whoop! Uh, I am very happy, if you can't tell, guys, that I am going to have a couple days off there, um, because I took an extra day off, and I plan on going to see super mario with my good friend mr wes so and i've heard good things i'm not going to ruin anything because i don't really know much of anything about the movie guys except that i heard it's not woke because we're not big on woke crap on this channel it tends to disgust me if anybody's ever seen me talk about um some of the stuff they've done to ninja turtles and a few other things in my life that have completely ruined things and make me really really unhappy um but the thing is, is that uh, I hear it's not very woke. I heard that some of the actors that are doing the voice lines for some of the characters are trying to um, interject their wokeness and woke politics into it. I hope that they lose their spot in the sequel because of that. Because I don't think Nintendo, uh, I think they're barking up the wrong tree. Because I don't think Nintendo takes too kindly to that. 
um, just the last I checked, because Nintendo wasn't really a super woke company, so, okay guys, I gotta backtrack a bit, but I am hearing good things about the movie, and I am extremely happy about that, so, because it's not woke, and the woke people can suck it, la 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 la. And there we go, guys. There's more of the the, the cockpit area where we're going to be. It actually goes like this because this is the belt. And then you would put it down and then you put your Wolverine right in here. So that's the way it's going to go. But we're going to move on and go back to where we're building the legs, I believe. So, um, Okay, so we want that on the inside, apparently, according to the, what they're indicating. So I want to make sure I get that right the first time so I don't have to futz with it later. There we go. There we go, guys. So far, so good. Hope the time on the video is doing good, but we won't know till later. This is going to be where it's going to get a little more complicated, so it's probably going to go into the seventh inning stretch, so to speak, because we are doing pretty good getting this done, but at the same time, um, it's, it's taking its fair amount of time, that's for sure. I gotta make sure I face these things the right ways, the right way, guys. So yeah, I've heard good things about the Super Mario Brother, Brothers movie. I'm very, very happy to go see it with my good buddy Wes. Um, it's too bad we have another friend named Chris. You guys probably hear me mention him every once in a while. He could not join us. Um, he has some very important medical things going on, so he won't be able to join us. Unfortunately, it would have been fun. To have him join us after we haven't seen him in a while at the same time um putting him and my friend west together in the same area is kind of like putting cats and dogs together uh that don't get along because actually you see a lot of dogs and cats nowadays in youtube videos that do get along um so if you take two that hate each other with a vengeance and don't even want to be in the same house with each other that would be basically the two friends that i have good friends apart from each other they used to be good buddies when basically one of them was helping the other person. And the way that goes is that Wes used to give Chris rides home from work. And so then they were good buddies. Guess what happened? Uh, they both lost their jobs at the place where they worked. And then they never really talked anymore. And so they never talk anymore. So guess what happens? Well, what happens is the same thing that happens to everybody. If you're not friends with somebody except at work and you don't hang out outside of work, then basically all the favors you did for that person, oh, you did favors for me. Well, I don't recall that because convenience, convenience, I don't recall that. And you can't get them to act like normal people anymore. And that's what bugs me is that it's like, come on, guys, can't you at least try to get along? And it's like the answer to that is no. No, I cannot get them to get along. And so it's like, fine, I'm just basically now doing it because I'm a nice person. And I'd like to um, have the opportunity to at least say, look, I asked. Ooh. Okay, what the hell? Okay, I think I see how that works. And it's a good thing I looked at it because that might have messed me up. Okay, so give me a minute, guys. Um so it's this way. Come on, get over there. Thank you, pain in the butt. Um, and then it's gonna be this way, I think. And then there's gonna be a okay, it claims that there's a small little piece, apparently. I mean it was showing that it was okay, maybe not. That's one of those. We'll keep an eye out for it later. Because I have no idea what's going on here. Unless, here's one of the possibilities. The, the lighting in here is starting to get a little better, but. Oh, there's what it is. Oh, hi, thanks. Thanks for not pointing out that you need to put that little piece on. Thanks so much. I hate when they do that. Just tell me I'm going to need to put that piece on. Okay, so they show you in the completed product, guys, of what we're doing, that, uh, where is it? Uh, there's a piece of them here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find it. This piece right here needs to go on. But 
they don't show you that you need to put it on. They just kind of imply that you're supposed to do it. And it's like, thanks, don't like, don't actually mention, don't actually show in the instructions that I actually have to, oh, I don't know, put that piece on. Duh. I am so not sure if I did this right. Because stuff about it seems off. Okay, guys, hold on a second. I need to check on something else. I think there's even more pieces that they didn't show you that you have to put on. Yeah, there's a funny little piece. And I think it's one of these guys right here. It's a funny little shape. And you got to put that on. Once again, they don't bother to tell you. You just have to figure it out on your own. It's like, geez, thanks. Now I can't even be sure if I got the right one. Ah, oh, for pity's sakes. You suck, Lego. I need like a magnifying glass to figure out what I'm doing. Okay, curve goes on the inside. Okay, so curve on the inside means that none of the above. Okay, so where is the one? Well, these guys, by doing this, I can start putting aside some of the other pieces I need for this. Um, I need this. Did they just not give me enough of the right pieces? I'm unsure. Oh, found it, found it. There we go. Geez, thanks, Lego. Don't mention, but the, you know, by the way, this piece has got to go here, and this piece has got to go here. You know, just just let us stumble around in the dark and figure it out for ourselves. Duh. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to be putting this. I think it's his foot. So it's going to be his foot for his... It's going to be this foot over here, guys. At least that's what it shows. And I hope... So which way is forward? The piece with the one we just fought with is forward. Okay, so... Oh, I get it. They're supposed to look a little like his boots. Okay, I get it. I get it. All right, so so far so good, guys. There we go. And we did get a lot of our pieces already started for the other one. So if I put it together right, which I did not because everything's going to be reversed on here, which is why I started looking at things before I started doing things. It's a process, a process. Um, so, yeah, I plan on going to see... Super Mario, like I said on Monday, guys, it's too bad that it's gotten to the point where I really don't think I'll ever be hanging out with my good friend Chris ever again because he's always busy now that he got a new job. And the fact of the matter is, is that, um, sure, me and Wes don't get along 100%. Um, we have our share of disagreements uh, in the political fields and a few other areas. But the thing is, is that I can rely on him being available to go see a movie with me. And he's the only friend I have left. I told... Okay, folks. You hear the binging sound? That would be... That would be my friend trying to get a hold of me. So, before I got on and started doing this broadcast, I talked with his wife. I talked with his wife to deliberately and willfully avoid just what happened. Did it do me any good? No. It did me no good. It was a dire waste of my time. Uh, it's my life, folks. So it's about right. It's my life. So it's right. Okay. Uh... But yeah, I'm going to have a good time. I have a hunch, guys. We're going to have a good time, me and Wes. Um, and the thing is, is I'm going to be happy to go see the movie. Um, I might even go see it a few times just to piss the critics off because they're all going, people not walk messaging. So they're all whining and complaining up a storm about there's no woke messaging in it. And it disturbs them greatly. So... I want nothing more than to uh, probably do what happened with the whole Hogwarts Legacy thing, where I can just irritate the crap out of them a little bit more by going to see it multiple times and giving it more of my money 
just to do nothing more than irritate the crap out of the critics who are going to whine and complain. Because they are, folks. They're already doing it right now as we talk. They're whining and complaining because it doesn't have any woke messaging in it. Yeah. Wah. Suck it. You know what? Movies are not about messaging. Some of them deliberately are. Usually you know that going in. But this one is meant to have fun. It's meant to be fun. It's Mario. Super Mario. So it's meant to not be about messaging. It's about a video game character. Duh. So it's like, I'm sorry, but really I'm not. I'm ecstatic. And yes, I am telling you right here on my program, folks, that I am possibly going to deliberately go see a movie that pisses off the critics just because it will piss them off even more that people are going to go spend bunches of money on it because that's exactly what happened during the Sonic movie, folks, I'll tell you right now, was that all the critics whined and cried because... You're not supposed to capitulate to these people. You're supposed to tell them what they want to see. And it's like, nope. And why does it have a sequel? And why are we going towards Sonic 3 right now? And why did it make millions of dollars? Because we told the critics to stick it where the sun don't shine. And basically, what came down to was the movie people figured out, hey, we want to make money. So who are we going to listen to? The fans or the critics? And they listened to the fans and they made money. What a shocker. Yeah, that's a shocker, isn't it, folks? You listen to the people who are actually going to go and pay the money to see the movie. What a shock. You make a movie towards the people who are going to give the money to see the product. It's like, geez, what a novel concept. Whoever would have thought, oh, I don't know, maybe about a thousand years probably of the movie industry. I know the movie industry hasn't been around, around that long, folks, but you get the point of what I'm trying to make. And it's just, it just floors me. The amount of how much we listen to stupid in this country. And sometimes outside of this country, but mostly in this country, we listen to stupid as if it's like, now I would say like listening to Jesus, but a lot of you don't necessarily believe in him. So just take whatever deity you do believe in, even if it, that deity is yourself, and just interject some of these stupid people in that place that they believe that you should listen to them before you listen to yourself, or that you should listen to them before you listen to Muhammad, or you should listen to them before you listen to Jesus, or you should listen to them before you listen to the Pope, or you should listen to them before you listen to the Dalai Lama. I mean, that's really what they're saying. Now, if that doesn't irritate you people, I don't know what will, because the thing is, is that I'm sorry, but it irritates the crap out of me, knowing that these bullheaded morons all think that they basically have more speaking power than the guy who gives us air. Air! I'm sorry, but you know what? That's where I believe air comes from. Some of you, like I said, might believe air comes from somewhere else, too. Okay, this is odd. It says it's done, but it shouldn't be because you need to snap these in. Can you really snap these in that way? No, you can't. They've got that little thing on the bottom. So where's the thing that connects them? Okie dokie. Oh, I missed a piece. Sorry, guys. There's these little pieces right here. These are what's going to make the feet snap in. Snap them right into the middle. There we go. I uh, have another one right here. And there we go, guys. We're about to get his feet going here. Like I said, guys, I don't try to complain too much about certain things having to do with like movie industry and all that stuff on this channel i find a lot of other people do it and i just want to do stuff for fun but there are times where you guys hear, or hear me rant because stupid really gets my blood boiling people that do stupid things and try to tell people that it's not about what they think it's about what thoughts are shoved into their head really irk me on so many levels there you go guys we've got we got most of his pieces already on so that we got a good chunk of his battle suit all ready to go, everybody. And I am going to put him... Actually, I'm going to put him right here. It doesn't sit too good on the towel, but 
So guys, I think we're going to be working on his arms next, and I hope this isn't taking too long. Boy, this is like a rep. I mean, I'm getting deja vu by what I'm doing here because we're about to do almost the exact same thing we did for his um for his for the rest of him. I hope, guys, that as I'm doing it and I'm picking the piece up in the air, that you guys are able to still see me. I tried to make sure that we could still do that, but I I apologize, guys, if the Video is going to come out kind of wonky where I didn't do it quite right. Um, I tried to aim it up at a higher angle, even though I'm taking the light right in the face by doing it um, so that we could all be able to see what was going on a little bit better. And I hope that I was doing it right. But I got to admit, until you go and look at the final product, you don't always know what you're going to get. Yeah, and I haven't put any more vintage videos, guys, out lately. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's just been, um, not on my timetable. So unfortunately that's the case. Uh, but I do have plans to have, uh, some more videos out. I hope shortly. Um, the thing is I told a lot of people that I was going to take today to go and, um, uh, try to get some of my Ninja Turtle pieces together and, try to do some stuff i'm still hoping to do that but if you guys can see that i'm doing this right now you can imagine that it might not happen the way that we want it to but i'm going to try okay so i'm supposed to flip it around i'm supposed to put something on this side oh wait a minute no I'm supposed to flip it and it's supposed to be something on this side and i think yeah it's this big big piece right here guys Okay, and that kind of makes sense. And according to this, we now will be able to snap it into this arm right here. Um, making sure I got it the right way. Yep, I do. Ah, here we go, guys. So far, so good. I don't know if my friend Jeff has built any of these yet. I want to say... Actually, I want to say yes, but part of me says that I don't recall him doing any videos having actually done this, so... Okay, and this is where problems start coming up because we're not sure where all our pieces are. But I'm really hoping to have a good time on Monday, guys. I'm taking a day off special just because I wanted to have some extra time off to do some stuff around the house because I already have Sunday off for Easter, as you guys have all heard me talk about. And then I have... Um, uh, I have... Uh, Monday off because I asked for it special off. That is not what we want. And this is not what we want. And that is not what we want. Uh-oh. Ah, there you are. Um, so basically, I have Sunday off because in the great state of Maine, you are not allowed to stay open on a religious holiday like that. If you're over a certain square footage, good on Maine. They actually did something right. Um, and, uh, and they haven't repealed it, considering our governor is not exactly what I call the most Christian person. Um... But the thing is, is that it works out really good for everybody except for maybe like, I don't know, uh, it doesn't work out too good for the people that are running businesses because they want to be open. Well, tough cannolis, tough cannolis and mine's one of them where we, because we're big or, or big enough store where, yeah, we can't stay open. So that's the way it works. Neener, neener, neener. And that's just the way I like it too. Because the thing is, is that I'm sorry, but... Don't mind me, guys. I'm checking on a couple things to make sure I got all my pieces right. Um, I think I'm actually going to do something, depending. Uh, do I have the pieces for it? No, I probably don't. So, never mind. I would have liked to do something cool, but never mind. We'll just live with it the way it is. Um, but, yeah. So, we have in this state where it's a, what's called a blue law that allows us to have, if you're over so many square footage, you cannot open your business. You cannot open your business on easter sunday so the thing is is wah, too bad so sad um so then i get that day off from work and the thing is, is that then i'm going to have um monday off because i requested it off at the last minute because i said hey wouldn't it be cool if i could just get monday off and then i have my tuesday wednesday off like i normally do so four days off yeehaw and i am very 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 excited about it because that is ironically the only day of my buddy Wes because they've been changing his hours at work so now that's the only day he could get off. 
And so that worked out really well for us because now we'll be able to go see the movie. So, okay, so we'll take that one over there. We need this one. And um, I expect that we'll have a good time. And I'm expecting to actually hang out with my friend a little bit more than I usually do because I'm thinking that him and I might just go hang out and do some extra stuff around town because the thing is is that I don't get to hang with him as much. I've been holding off the last couple of weeks because I knew we'd do this big thing on uh, the day we do our Mario stuff. Um, so I've been, I've been holding off hanging out and I'm hoping we can definitely make it up, um, by doing some cool stuff going around, maybe do some shopping and stuff like that on, uh, Monday. Now, if I had a girlfriend or a wife, I'd be hanging with them and doing all this stuff. But all I have is a couple friends, one of which is, is busy with work, dra um, medical stuff and, Dungeons and Dragons. I kid you not. That's where he blows us off for Dungeons and Dragons stuff all the time. Um, the other one is got all kinds of medical problems and basically is afraid of humanity and doesn't want to go out in the world. So he won't go out. And then um, I have Wes. And so it's like, that's it. That's all I have for friends. So ta-da, that's what I end up with. So it's cool though. I, I like my friend Wes. We don't get along, like I said, on certain things, but we, we get along good enough. And the thing is, is that I don't have a significant other. I have no wife anymore. So I don't go out and do anything with my wife. So all I have is these friends that I have. And I make do with what I got. I make do's with what I got. And it's not a bad thing necessarily. It's just that, like I said... It would seem like I would do a lot better if I had a significant other, meaning I had a woman in my life who maybe wasn't a bossy pain in the ass. Oh, did I say that? Because that's what a lot of women in my life and in my friend's life, not my current, not my friend's current life. Big Jeff and Debbie are pretty much, I would go with a match made in heaven. I think he had to go through a lot of problem cases before he got to a, a good match. Um... But the thing is, is that um, he had to, um, and, and I understand why, but I'm going to point it out for what it is. He had to bypass what we believe religiously about it because he was not supposed to get remarried until his first wife cheated on him. And she never did for many, many, many years. So the thing is, is that he wasn't actually supposed to do anything. He was, unfortunately, biblically speaking, he was supposed to be alone. But he has some medical conditions which make it um, very dangerous, in my opinion, for him to be alone. So what could I say? Um, not a whole lot to the, to the matter. So I don't say too much. And he's happy now. But I've tried to stick to my guns. My ex is happily remarried. I'm very happy for her, actually. Um, not a hundred percent because I got stabbed in the back pretty hard when she left me and the scars never healed from that. So I am bitter about that. I won't deny it, but, um, I am happy that she is happily remarried with somebody because that's the way it should be is if I don't necessarily want her being some people, I got to admit that the sin part of me deep down would like it if she was a miserable shrew of herself just wandering the planets, very, un, you know, very unhappy with, um, you know, life in general. My life sucks because I made poor choices, blah, 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 blah. Sure. But what's that going to do for me? Nothing. That's That does nothing for me. Being happy that my ex is miserable does absolutely nothing for me. And yeah, sure. I do a lot of things in this life where I sit back and say, yeah, people should get, you know, you should kind of get your karmic payback, but that's not biblical. And so the thing is, is that I'm not going to go down that road. It's not for me to say, it's for God to say. And the thing is, if, if God, hey, this, are, this is going to be our hands. That's cool. Um, so I'm just trying to see if I got this right, guys. It's going to be, this is basically going to be the, this is our thumb and then these are all our hands. So this is going to look pretty cool. I like this. Um, you know, look, if my ex is happy and then she's not my problem and she might not, she'll probably never show up at my doorstep again. 
begging for a second chance, or in this case, it would be her third or fourth chance, I actually forget, then, hey, I'm all happy for her. And because the fact of the matter is, like I said, guys, being, okay, you're just going to be a little jerk, aren't you? Being miserable and sitting back and saying, why isn't my my ex miserable, so thereby I'm miserable because she's not miserable, is a horrible way to live life. It's a, it's a horrible, horrible way to live life. And I'd rather move on with my life. And I'm very content to. And I hope that any of you that actually end up in a bad relationship and have moved on will. And the thing is, is I'm happy my good buddy, Big Jeff, he's moved on. Why? Because of the exact reason I just mentioned. He's happy and he's moved on. So, okay, I put that on wrong. It's this way over here. It's got to be the wrong flat end. Here we go. And the thing is, is that, like I said, biblically speaking, I can never sit there and say my friend was in the right. I understand his reasoning. This whole God owed me with a better woman that he... The next woman he found, guys, the next couple women he found until his current wife, I think showed him the error of being too hasty. And so he paid his dues, I think, for that. I think the Lord showed him a lesson of don't be so damn impatient. And I think he's en ended up in a good spot now with somebody who doesn't want to make false allegations against him and basically ruin his life. Because that was what the last one was doing. She was a real piece of work, guys. And by a real piece of work, I mean um, she's like a real piece of work like that is a, is a trash piece of work. Like if you were a sculptor and you made a piece of work and it was garbage and you trashed it and wanted to go back and build another one. Yeah, she's the piece of work that gets thrown in the trash. That's that's what she is. She was, and I'm not, uh, I can't say I'm not a little bit bitter because she turned my best friend of many, many, many years against me. I won't lie and say that isn't part of it. But um, I will say that I believe that the woman worships the devil and is evil. Uh, I, I think she is a fundamentally evil, evil person. Um, and I, I, I do believe it's ironic that she's actually um, gotten remarried and is with somebody the last I thought we understood. But all I can tell you is, is that I have heard rumors and I'm not lying about these. I'm just stating facts that uh, indicate that a lot of the people she gets married to don't last very long. And that's all I'm going to leave it at. Um, so I think my friend might have lucked out. My good friend, Big Jeff, guys, there is a good likelihood looking at her current record and the fact that she has literally been in an insane asylum um, that if he had gotten married to her, um, he could be dead. And I put that... You know, very right out in front, guys, that he could be dead right now. I might not have a friend anymore because she might have actually offed him. And um, he didn't really have much in the way of money or anything like that. But uh, all I know is, is that this woman's got a terrible track record of the, uh, the men don't tend to last too long. Now, if it was the men, you know, off themselves because they had to put up with her. Yeah, that I might understand. Because I could see that, you know, because she was like, um, she's like the one that if you got, did you guys ever wonder in the Wizard of Oz who the best friend of the Wicked Witch of the West was? Yeah, it's my friend's, my friend's ex-girlfriend before his current wife. That's who it was. Her best friend was the Wicked Witch of the West. And I can, I can bet you money on that, guys. I know that which I speak of. I'm almost sure I'm right. Because... It seems the most likely. So there we go, guys. If you haven't, if you can't tell yet, we are definitely putting the blades on and stuff. Oh, this is looking awesome, guys. This is just looking awesome. So we're going to lay it down. Um, I'm going to check on something, guys, real quick. Oh, perfect. I had some extra pieces. And um, some of which I aren't, I'm not going to be able to do anything with. But a few others. There was some pieces right down here, guys, on the bottom. And I really wanted to put something there to cover it up a little bit. And, oh, I can't because they're different kinds. Oh, well, that's fine. That's all good and everything. That's fine and dandy, guys. Um, we're going to do at the end of this, guys, what we always do. 
which is we're going to take the time to um, um, zoom in and take a better look at this, guys. So we will do that still, but I'm going to get all these on. And uh, I love this. Uh, this I love this thing, guys. This is just awesome. Um, but yeah, she was a real piece of work, guys, the last one. And um, I think my friend, he, if you believe in karma or if you believe in what goes around, comes around, he made some very poor choices. And he basically was like, uh, the, like the Egyptians, not the Egyptians, but the Hebrews guys, we want a king, we want a king. So when they got a king, finally, he was the worst scumbag ever. Yeah. So he was like, I need a girlfriend. God owes me. Uh, God doesn't owe no, nobody nothing guys. And he did all this stuff and he paid for his choice of words big time. So, okay guys, I got him all lined up so that I hope we, we can get his blades out and it looks pretty good. All things considering we'll, we'll do this. And then what we're going to do is get our Wolverine and put him in the cockpit, guys. Yep. Yep. And then I think, can we do it with the arms down or no? I, I don't think we can. So I think we're actually going to... I don't think we can do it with the... I, it shows in the picture. No. Yes, yes, it does. It shows It shows that it's... Oh. Okay, let me try this, guys. It, where you where they've got the hands turned and the claws are to the side, and it shows that he fits there. But I don't I don't think that's actually going to happen. Okay, let me turn it around, guys, so I can see it a little better, and then we'll we'll see what we can do. Um, because I don't think you can do it. Though, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't have him sitting down though, do I? Though he can't be sitting in the thing, or you he wouldn't stick his head out. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can get it, the claws down enough so we can actually, because there's supposedly a way in the picture. There's a way. Okay, I think I got him, guys. I just had to look at it better. There it is, guys. We got him in his cockpit. Woohoo! It's Wolverine, and he is awesome. I love it. See how long this thing has gone on for, guys, as we get the final shot in. So how long have we gone on to? Yeah, this is like almost an hour, guys. So I'm very happy that we... And I was right. My apologies, guys. I had a hunch. Just to show you guys a better thing. That's what he looks like laid down. But uh, we are going to take a final, final shot, guys. My apologies. The whole time I've been standing him up, you guys haven't been able to see him in the frame because I didn't have the camera up high enough. I apologize, guys. But there is our final Wolverine. I'm sorry, guys, that I didn't know that he wasn't in the shot very good. So I'm hoping that as we were building him flat on the on the table, guys, everything was working out okay. But I'm sorry as we stood the rest of him up that we're kind of doing stuff off, off the frame. So I apologize for that, guys. But that's our final shot. That is an awesome-looking Wolverine. I like how the claws just look like they're coming right out of the camera, guys. That is awesome. So this has been my Wolverine mech. I want to make sure I got the right thing, guys, for that. Yep, uh, Wolverine Mech Armor. It's a 141-piece set, and it's part of the Mech Armor series, guys, that, that they're doing in LEGO. They've got a Hulk one, a Thanos one, a Rocket Raccoon one, I think. They've got a whole bunch of them. They've had Iron Man ones and other ones before this. My friend uh, Big Jeff's made those. But I really wanted this one, and now I think I'm going to go out, guys, and I'm going to buy a Hulk one so I can have a Hulk Mech versus Wolverine Mech. And then any comic book people out there would definitely know what's important about that. So I think I might go out and get a Hulk one down the road, guys, too. They're very really inexpensive at the local Walmart, so I think I'm going to do that sometime. But I hope you guys enjoyed this this afternoon. Sorry it was such a long thing. I hope you don't mind me rattling on about other stuff we built. But I had a fun time, and I hope you guys will have a fun time, too. I know some of you are just going to skip to the end of this video and look at the final product here, which I'm completely fine with. Thank you so much to all our subscribers. And uh, shout out to my good friend, Mr. Jeff, and his wife, Miss Debbie. Happy he finally found somebody that makes him happy that didn't turn out to be a rock troll from underneath a bridge. Because the last one, I'm pretty sure that uh, she was in the same family as a rock troll under a bridge. Um, but it's like, you know what, guys, I'm very happy for them just to finish up what I was saying at the end of this video. And I'm very happy for my ex. And I'm very happy for the fact that me and my friend Wes are going to go see a movie. At least I got one friend that I can go see my movie with 
and we're going to go see a special 3D showing that only has one time slot every single day at 7 p.m., and we're going to have a blast. It's going to be a really fun time, and I bet we're going to have a blast, and we're going to have a great time doing some, uh, maybe some more Lego shopping at the local Target up there, and doing some other stuff. We're going to probably... Um, go and grab a bite to eat uh, i haven't talked it over with him yet to figure out but we're gonna just make a day out of it guys because i don't do enough with some of these friends like my friend wes i do a lot more with my friend uh big jeff so the thing is i owe my other friends time to do some stuff now my friend chris is what we call a fall away friend where he's still my friend but he's fallen away from being in the same like the friend circle he's not really friends with Wes and I both anymore like I said him and Wes don't get along because Chris has well, Chris has some problems he's actually going to be going for some medical appointments to get those resolved so he admits that some of them are just because of his own personal problems but the other issues are is that people don't really get along except when they're doing favors for each other and that's a real shame and that leads me into the next thing guys where go out and do something nice for somebody today there's not much time left in today i know there isn't but hey there's always tomorrow go out there do some heroing be a hero like Wolverine here, guys, and go out and do something nice for somebody. You don't have to save the world or rescue people in danger, but hey, just do something nice for somebody today or maybe tomorrow. And the thing is, is I bet you'll feel a lot better about yourself, and I know the Lord will bless you guys. In the meantime, have a great night, everybody, and enjoy your halfway through the week. Yay!